podcast playing the Steenly Problem Solution. Yes, one of these five will die. Yeah, it's like the, ah! Rest only in the bed here, uh, wake up. Turn off this alarm, Stanley stretched and rose up out of bed. Wide awake, he was ready to face the day. Okay. Waking into the kitchen, Stanley takes his opinion, uh, uh, scrambled or hungry. What? Scrambled or hungry? I don't know. <laughs> it, eggs or cereal? Stanley looked at the time and decided they had time to make something quick to eat. With dubious skill, Stanley whipped up and made a healthy breakfast for himself. Stanley hurries away from his home. He walks and thinks about how he will get there. The trolley. <laughs> Spotting a trolley approaching its stop, Stanley rushes over and pays his fare and finds a seat. As the trolley shows to the next stop, Stanley notices an older woman in recent. Oh. Notice an older lady getting on board. Stanley offers his seat to her. Hmm. Walking towards the front of the trolley, Stanley noticed the controls. Frozen by indecision, the choice was quickly taken out of Stanley's hands as the trolley struck the man on the tracks. The man would have discovered the cure for cancer. Uh, what do you do? Throw a clock. Forcefully throwing the alarm in frustration, the grating beep stopped suddenly as it burst apart on impact with... The wall collapsing the entire building on top of Stanley. Oh, I thought he would have choked on one of the pieces or something. Alright, so you have wake to wake up. up. Cereal? Cereal. <laughs> Grabbing the milk from the fridge, Stanley pours himself a bowl of cereal. Somehow, Stanley forgot high is his lactose intolerant. Why did he even own milk? So he forgot to say high is lactose intolerant. <laughs> Okay, so eggs. Call the cab. Mom. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, you keep dying from cereal. <laughs> Call the cab. Spotting a cab, Stanley calls it over, hoping to get his destination faster. Unfortunately, the cab driver doesn't notice him until it's too late. Why would he be in the road? You have to just do it at the side. Oh, so it's a trolley. Trolley. Uh, give seat to crush. No. Looking up the next stop, Stanley saw his crush step on board his Miss Wright as of last week Ooh. when he saw her help a cat out of the tree, out of a tree, and their eyes locked together. Him and the cat, um, wanting to impress her, he offered her his seat. No, I was just thinking, just mi Miss Wright, his right hand. <laughs> All right. Oh. Towards the front, uh, five people. Making his choice, Stanley throws the lever for the tracks, which turning the cart into the left track, plowing through five people on the tracks. Is there any good ending? I don't okay, so wake up. Didn't you? Uh, trolley. Lady this time? And then the fire. Just don't do anything? I'll go in the middle. Oh, that one. But then it still struck- It still struck the man. Yeah. This time it was indecisiveness. Uh. Last time, it was a different thing. Trolley. That one doesn't really matter. Kill the one person then? That's what I did. It still does it. So what's the good ending? And where's the cat come in? Yeah. Well, you can try again. Try again? I just went through it like nothing. Uh, what if you don't do anything? My indecisiveness. With a lazy wave, Stanley slapped the snooze button before rolling over and going back to sleep. Refusing to wake up, Stanley slowly wasted away. So I just wake, wake up. up and then don't choose anything. Oh, I do nothing with the seat. Hurrying out the door, Stanley decided to grab something to eat on the way there. Unfortunately, Stanley never found something to eat and died. <laughs> he is weak. <laughs> Alright, so what happens when we don't do anything? Oh, there's the cat. Nothing. Nothing. Oh. Feeling confident in his sense of direction and general fitness, Stanley walks towards... walks forward with long strides, determined to be there on time. Unfortunately, high was too slow. Huh. High was too slow. Okay, so you need the trolley. And, and no one... No one gets a seat. This is my seat. 
Mm. Mm. Obvious to his surroundings, Stanley is lost in his own thoughts and is delayed as the occupant of the trolley. The occupants of the trolley are asked to give statements by police due to the death caused by the trolley. So the trolley still kills people no matter what. Yeah, it's just even worse. It's a bus full instead of like five to one. And somehow he still goes up to the controls. Yeah, either way, it's a bad ending, I think. Yeah. Like, no matter what you could possibly ever do. Oh, come on. You already. Yeah, I know. I'm just going. Why? But... You should have just left him alone. Why does he need to suffer again? Yeah, there's nothing else you can actually do. Yeah. Cause yeah, if we kill the one person, then it doesn't matter. If we stand there and just do nothing, it still kills that one person. Yes. But then it says frozen by indecisiveness. Yeah, it's still the same. Like you didn't choose. But then it's like, come on. It seems like there should have been a good ending if there was two bad endings. Yeah, I'll just go to main menu. Sorry, all happier music instead of darker and sadder music. See, I told you at least one of them was gonna die, but then ended up three of them were gonna die, and the cat was safe because it was stuck in a tree. Yeah, and didn't go on the trolley. It watched from a distance, so, so it is the driver. The trolley sign survived. The cat survived. The old lady, your crush, and yourself all died. And even if you died before even going to the trolley, they would have still died without you. Of course. So everybody died that day. Yeah. Except for the cat. Uh-huh. Alright. See you guys next time. Bye.